Getting people onto our email list is often harder than it seems. But having got them there, we need to make sure we're delivering that message time and time again so we can really make an impact with our blog and with our content. However, just because we're sending out our emails to our list doesn't mean they're getting them. Unfortunately for some of us, our emails can end up in the spam filter. That's what I wanna talk about today, how you can make sure that your emails avoid the spam folder. I've got five reasons why they end up there and five ways you can avoid that folder. So let's get into it. First things first, if you are using a reputable email provider, the likes of Aweber, MailChimp, or ConvertKit as we use, well then the chances are you're going to avoid the spam folder more regularly than those who aren't. But just because you are using a reputable provider doesn't mean that you won't end up in the spam folder. In fact, only 76% of all emails sent in the first quarter of 2016 managed to find the inbox. So that means 14% of emails are still hitting the spam folder, which is a large amount. And of course, Gmail being one of the largest email providers, well, they're very conscious of the spam folder and they're making sure that that spam isn't getting into the inbox and they've brought in new measures and new rules. They came into play on the 9th of February, 2016. And those new measures from Gmail certainly have had an effect. In fact, the spam rate has gone up since they've introduced those so there's far less emails getting into the inbox since gmail have put these measures into place in february 2016. so what's causing our emails to hit that spam folder there's a number of reasons i'm going to run through five of them that pertain particularly to bloggers so hopefully you can try and avoid these mistakes that are going to put you in the spam house the first reason your email can end up in the spam folder is in fact if you've got a low open rate. So if your emails aren't being opened, Gmail or whoever the provider is seems to think that they're spam, that obviously they're not relevant, they're not valuable to your audience and therefore they will start marking them as spam. So the lower your open rate, the higher chance you have of ending up in the spam folder the next time you send out an email. So if you want to avoid the spam folder, you need to come up with some good headlines that are gonna get people opening them. So you really want to check your headline. I recommend using CoSchedule's headline analyzer. That'll give you an idea of how compelling your headline is and hopefully it'll get your open rates to increase. So if you've got a low open rate, it does mean you have a higher chance of getting stuck in that spam folder. So you need to make sure your headlines are compelling and clickable without being too clickbaity because that too could also land you in the spam folder. The next reason you could hit the spam folder is that you've got low usage. So you're not sending out emails regularly enough. This has a knock on effect. So this kind of low usage is twofold. One, you're not sending out enough emails and the email providers know this, that there's not too many emails coming from this uh, provider. Therefore, there's a chance this could be spam. The second is, is that people forget they're subscribed to your list. You may not be sending out enough emails or you may not have sent one in months and people forget they subscribed and therefore assume that your email is spam and mark it as such because they don't remember subscribing. So having a low usage rate not only indicates to the email provider that it could be spam, but also given the fact that people don't remember signing up, they're reporting you as spam because they haven't heard from you in so long. So you need to be sending regular emails with your decent headlines as we've just spoken about to get that open rate to convince the email providers to keep you out of the spam folder. Another reason you could also be ending up in the spam folder has to do with your headline is the amount of clickbaity type words. Yes, there are certain words that email providers scan for, and if they appear heavily within the email headline, or indeed in the body copy, then you could be in trouble. Words such as, dear friend, spammy, for a limited time, spammy, congratulations, spammy, for only, and then a dollar amount, also spammy. And there's many, many more. I'll put a list of them in the article below. There's so many words like that that can get you into the spam folder. So you need to make sure that you don't have those words heavily placed within your article. In fact, I would avoid them altogether where possible. Another reason you can end up in the spam folder is the design of your email. We use plain text emails for good reason. It's not that we're lazy and we don't want a nice looking email uh, with a beautiful header. 
it's actually that the HTML code can sometimes be dirty, which can end up pushing our emails into the spam folder. Now again, if you're using a reputable email provider, the chances are their templates there have been checked and they'll help you avoid the spam folder. But sometimes you get dirty HTML text, which can push you into the spam folder. So we tend to avoid it altogether. And on a side note, most people now check their emails on their phones and when you're out and about, most of the images don't load. So you end up with images that don't load and what happens is some people, and I've seen this on some lists I'm on, where they have named their image screenshot in May 2017. So when I open the email, I just get this horrible piece of code, ahrefs equals screenshot May 2017, and then the email body copy and you're kind of looking at it going, I know that should have been an image, but it just looks silly. So if you are going to use an image like that, at least make sure you name it properly. So even if it just says logo, that's fine. Or a lot of people, if it's a click through image that you want them to watch a video, maybe it's a screenshot of a video just like this, and you want people to click to go through to YouTube, you could name the image, click here to watch the video. So when it opens up, if the image doesn't load, there's still something they can click to get them through to the video without it being too spammy again. So, just bearing in mind that HTML code in your email could have a bearing on whether or not you end up in the spam filter. And the last one I want to talk to you about is one that's also manageable. Unfortunately, we as bloggers and those of us who are collecting email addresses can end up with spammy email addresses on our list. How many times have you seen someone subscribe where you look at the email address and you think, that's not a real email address or that's a bit bogey. It happens, it happens to us, it happens to you and it'll continue to happen, unfortunately. If you are sending out emails to your list and there are spammy email addresses on that, the email providers know this. They can see that you're sending emails to spammy email addresses. This is a negative score against your email address and they will grade you down and it can mean that you end up in the spam folder. So what we suggest is every quarter, every six months even, go through your email list and delete these spammy email addresses. Look at your email addresses, look at the ones that aren't opening your emails and get rid of them. If you're not sure about your email, there's lots of tools out there that you can put your email into that will tell you whether or not you've got a high chance of ending up in the spam filter. One of those tools is simply called Is Not Spam. So if you go to Is Not Spam and put your email in there, it'll give you a score on how spammy your email is and let you know whether you need to change anything. And I do suggest if you're not sure that you go and do that. There are a number of other things that can help you avoid the spam folder, but to be honest, with most of us using the likes of MailChimp, Aweber, ConvertKit, they're taking care for us. The likes of making sure you have an address at the bottom of your email, making sure that there's a clear unsubscribe button. All of these reputable email providers will have those done for us. So I'm not gonna bore you with those details. Just remember, you want to send out emails that are gonna get open. So check your headlines and try and make them as good as you can with co-scheduled headline analyzer. Send them out often and frequent. So your list, remember that they're, you're there and also it's an indicator to the email providers that you are sending out mails, it's not spam. Number three is to make sure you avoid spam trigger words as I've listed below. Number four is to make sure that your HTML code is clean and not dirty. Dirty HTML code can land you in the spam folder. And last but by no means list, clean your list. Make sure you don't have too many spammy email addresses on your email list. These two could put you where you don't want to be. So that's it, hopefully you'll find that useful. Don't forget, if you want more great tips like this, you can join our 30 Minute Blogger mini course. Simply leave your name and email address below and we'll get that first email in the course sent out to you straight away. But until next time folks, happy blogging.